the Evil Dead Rise trailer is here. Let's go through and break down the Easter eggs as well as my predictions for the plot based on the trailers. I will also be reviewing the entire Evil Dead franchise, including my first time watching Ash vs. Evil Dead leading up to the release of Evil Dead Rise. Both the green and red band trailers are extremely creepy and give just enough information to get you intrigued, so let's get into it. Both trailers show Beth has come to visit Ellie and her three kids in her LA apartment, which is actually shot in New Zealand. But Ellie seems to be possessed shortly after Beth's arrival. Ellie's kid Danny has presumably found the Necronomicon, which I'm guessing was already hidden in the apartment and was opened just before Ellie gets possessed. The Necronomicon looks amazing and you quite literally can't have an Evil Dead film without it. Ellie asks Beth that she doesn't let them get her babies in the Green Band trailer, whereas in the Red Band trailer she discusses how she wants to cut her kids open and crawl inside. This is absolutely terrifying. This just goes to show that Ellie is truly a loving mother when she's not possessed and also showing how crazy this film is going to be with the use of the Deadites. We get many shots throughout these trailers where possessed Ellie is causing quite a stir as she is seen coming down through the vent in the ceiling and attacking Beth in one sequence. She's seen jumping on one of her kids and going for their eye with a tattoo gun and attacking her youngest daughter after being locked out. Ellie's possession seems to start when she gets hit with a paranormal presence in the elevator, only to return to the apartment as a deadite. I predict that Ellie will have a death of sorts early on after her initial possession, and that's why we see Beth watching over her body in bed before her eyes start twitching. We see shots of the youngest child in the apartment hallway with bodies everywhere, as well as a bunch of flashy sequences where Beth and the youngest daughter seem to have possibly made it out alive as they drive away covered in blood. But as for that apartment sequence, I do think this will come after Ellie has gone through a rampage through multiple different apartment rooms, killing as many tenants as possible on that floor, and then of course the youngest daughter will come across all of that carnage. And as Beth and the youngest daughter drive away, I'm assuming most of this blood comes from the elevator sequence where they get flooded with blood an obvious callback to The Shining. Just before this though, we see Beth with the chainsaw that calls back to every other film in the franchise. I'm guessing this is one of the final battles that Beth has with the Deadites before she escapes in the car. But easily the most interesting piece about these trailers has to be the sequences shown at an A-frame cabin in the woods. It looks to possibly be the 80s or early 90s and could be the opening sequence to the film showing how the Necronomicon was transferred from a cabin in the woods to an apartment in LA. My biggest question is how the film will end and I think I have have a possible solution. We see someone floating above the same body of water that was seen in the assumed opening in this case. I believe that could possibly be Ellie and she has tracked down Beth and the youngest daughter back to this cabin after they escape the parking garage of the apartment complex. I do think we will get plenty of dead-eyed attacks on the way to the parking garage. I do think the other two siblings will die in the apartment. Beth will make it out of the parking garage and they will drive to the cabin in the woods where this all started. Beth will have some sort of hero showdown against her sister Ellie, either starting in the cabin and ending at the lake, or starting at the lake and ending inside the cabin. Either that or I'm thinking way too hard and most likely Beth will just drive out of the apartment building and the movie will end with a funny gag like them sitting in LA traffic covered in blood. But either way, I'm extremely excited for this film. I do think it'll be pretty straightforward overall and that's not a bad thing. I see this film taking the brutality of the Fide Alvarez reboot and the campiness of the original and being the best of both. I loved seeing Evil Dead 2013 in theaters and I just know this theater experience is going to be just as fun. Who knows how much the cabin will actually be incorporated into this film, but I do think it is a really unique looking cabin. It's different for the franchise and I'm excited to see what this flashback ends up being and how it's incorporated into the story. But this film looks absolutely crazy with lines like, this evil creates terror through chaos and she's with the maggots now. Partnered with the visuals of cheese graters and tattoo guns, Evil Dead Rise is set to be one of the wildest films of 2023 and I can't wait. Now I know there are plenty of Easter eggs that I probably missed in this trailer, so let me know which ones I missed down in the comments below. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm Carter, peace.